I am seeing flames, flames of deepest crimson. You shall soon be consumed by the flames of ruin. What are you babbling about? What a complete load of baloney. You cannot escape your fate. Judgment! Here we have a hotel manager trapped in a prophecy of doom. What will you do? What will you do? For the love of... I'm surrounded by idiots. Gregory, your mother was looking for you. What? I don't remember being summoned. So are you hiding something? Or is your conscience clear? What is it, Gregory? My conscience is clear. I'm not hiding anything from Mama. Here we go! Because of you, your mama's precious souls were stolen. You're in deep trouble! That's the truth, buddy boy. See ya! Gregory! Mama, he's lying! It's all a bunch of lies! Silence! I knew there were too few souls! Care to explain? Mama, you've got the wrong idea! I'll see you later in my room. Oh, no! <laughs> what a day! really didn't want to unlock this door, but... in the sauce. Smoking is cuisine's foe. So as our third night at Gregory's Horror Hotel comes to a start, it appears that our actions taking on the Lost Souls is not going completely unnoticed, and even worse than that is drawing the ire of Gregory's mother. So we'll worry about that later, because for right now, we do have a trio of new guests. And not only that, we also have a trio of new floors to investigate. Though, we don't have maps for them just yet. Still, I don't think we'll be venturing down there. At least not in this particular video. Instead, I think we have a guest we can harass on this floor. And you know, it's been a while, and I swear we haven't talked to Neko Zombie in forever. I wonder how he's doing. Seems he is having a bit of night terrors involving his, I suppose, captor Gregory. Certainly adds an air of mystery about the relationship between those two. I guess you could call it hostile, even though I, I don't know why Gregory just wouldn't put Neko Zombie out of his misery. But yeah, I guess we should start gathering information, and the library seems like a good place to start. <laughs> uh 
though what we can gather from James initially isn't really all that much. He mentions a door that's been left open and it's apparently causing some troubles for Gregory. Just, we don't know what door that could possibly be, be or that door could possibly be. I suppose it could be the basement, though we did see Gregory, I think, specifically unlock that. I mean, I suppose Gregory could maybe shed some more light on it. Instead, Gregory seems to have a bit of other things on his mind. I think he uh, he's mostly worried about those missing souls and getting his mother angry. For now though, I think we should hit him up about getting some information on those new guests. Ooh, what a day! Though it is a bit strange that he goes out of his way to bring up that hole we saw in the storeroom earlier. Who would you like to hear about? So yeah, even though we do have a few new floors to investigate, I figure we should get the one that's still on the main floor here out of the way, and that would be Hell Chef. Now, as you can imagine, since this isn't a normal hotel, it doesn't really have anything normal about it, including its master chef. Yeah, Hell Chef is a masochist with a very, very large knife and a very, very large knack for... Uh, I guess poisoning people would be the best way to describe his cooking, and, well, he is incredibly devoted to that. In fact, that devotion is so red-hot that it even appears as a flame on his head. And as you might guess, well, the chef's place is in the kitchen, so he's right there nearby. So that seems like a prime place to go and check out and see what's going on with our, our chef du jour. Seems he is postulating cooking up another one of our guests that we, we saw in that introduction there. I assume he is talking about the aptly named TV fish. Can't really say that uh, a ghost fish would make a very good meal. Still, that might be some helpful information in the future, I guess. Doesn't really help us, though, in figuring out a way to really... Get to that soul that Chef has. As you can imagine, as with most of the guests with the lost soul, once you get near them, they will start to run, so we are going to have to figure out some means of tricking him, or possibly trapping him. And I guess that means we're going to have to start hitting up some more guests. And, since the mummy dogs are nearby, even though they aren't really the most reliable source of information, you know, you never know. So it's always worth a shot. Yay! Yay! It seems, though, that in their anemic stupor, instead of talking about the chef, they seem to be planning a little bit of a fix fishing excursion, at least whenever they do get better, and while well, that isn't helpful for our immediate target, it will be a little helpful for us in the future, so it's good to keep in mind. And, well, while we did already see some information from James, 
since we do know our next target, he does give us some different information if we peek in on him. Though yet again, it's not really useful information for our current target, but still useful information for a future target. Seems that the remote for the TV here in the lounge is currently missing. Probably be on the lookout for that in the future. No, instead, we are going to get some useful information from James, just not directly from the horse's mouth, I suppose. Instead, we're going to go to the horse's secret diary. Yeah, as I mentioned in the previous video, this diary will update at times with some useful information. In this case, we see that day two has been updated with some information regarding Neko Zombie that we can feed him in case he is hungry and he will give us items. But more importantly, find out that the chef is not very pleased if you happen to add your own little piece de resistance to his food. And that is exactly the means that we are going to use at least to start out our trap for Hell Chef. Now, I'm, I'm not going to say that this particular soul is difficult to get, I think the best adjective I could possibly use is that it is expensive. Now, it's expensive in so much that, um, well, I think you might have already noticed with the herbs outside, but even the items that do replenish only have a very limited amount that they will get replenished, so I think there is a very, very finite items available to us in the hotel. And for this particular soul, well, we are going to have to end up using quite a few items. So, first things first, we are going to want to clear up some room and get some items, though. Well, I am running a little bit low on health and I do have a brand new book, so... I guess we can always top ourselves off. I think we have been doing excessively good with our time management and also our health increasing. But yeah, for this time around, we are going to need pretty much every item in our inventory available to give away. And that means yeah, there are going to have to be a few items here and there, even though they might seem pretty useful, that well, we are just going to have to, I guess, sacrifice for getting a soul. In fact, I know there are a few items I can pick up on the way, so I did manage to save a few more items in our inventory. Also, we can peek in on another one of the new guests in the kitchen. Or the dining room, I should say. Yeah, looks like Roulette Boy is enjoying one of Health Chef's four-star culinary delights. And even though I hate to interrupt somebody's meal, we do have a date in the kitchen. And with that, we should be perfectly well and open to start our own little cooking class here. We just need to grab one more item out of the fridge. And there we go, we now have our final ingredient to make our, uh, our special stew. Now while Hell Chef has made a fairly good base here, we have our own little fine assortment of items to really, uh, I don't know. Let's go with BAM. 
How about that? That's something a TV chef said at some point, I'm, uh, I think. Now, you don't really need to make any wild choices here with your, with your ingredients. As far as I know, any items will do. Even if they seem like they might be positive items to put in a stew, such as, I guess, meat. Um, it doesn't matter. Any, anything you put in here will be absolutely horrible and will completely mess up the stew. And, as far as I can tell, the value of the item also doesn't affect going through this task any quicker. I think it's always just, I think, eight items. And you will end up completely, completely fucking up this this wonderful stew here. And you will definitely know whenever you do successfully mess up the stew. Because not only does it visually change, but you can hear somewhere far away a chef's heart breaking. And now it's just simply a matter of waiting, and watching, and dreading. Who's been messing with my pot? Is your doing, isn't it? Oil my cooking, will you? I'll get you for this. I'll make you into a stew! So now comes the real danger, because believe it or not, Hell Chef is the very first guest that manages to run way, way quicker than we do. Now we can get an item to boost our speed, and that would be kind of a waste, because in the end, Hell Chef does run a very specific circuit, and I know exactly where he's coming. That just leads us into the second part, which is, well, we need to take out that flame on his head, and... Well, that's why we happen to know about that drafty storeroom. is your doing, yes? Jeff stops moving when the fire on his head goes out. When that happens, it's up to me to light the fire again. Oh, what a pain in the... the future. Would you be so kind as to refrain from teasing Chef? Along, Chef. We're going. So we narrowly avoid the chef's cutting board. And we get our just desserts. Thanks a lot, Drafty Room. You paid off in dividends. And with another soul successfully in our possession, I think that was a job well done, though a bit pricey. So, next time, let's see what will be waiting for us in the basement. Come on now! Give it up! Throw away all them worries! Oh, it's you! Did you manage to pick up any souls? Oh, you only brought me one, huh? I take it? Hey, 
Thanks a lot. Here, I'll stamp your card for you. Good luck there, buddy! <laughs>